because think about this for a second. If you are, if you are, if you are sharing, if you are sharing a source code with somebody else, I think they've told you that one of the things you do, I told you many years ago, I guess, when you were in undergrad or learning how to program that you should include comments or something. So you can view these textual descriptions as being comments, right? Uh, so you provide textual descriptions of what you're doing and corresponding live code, for instance, or equations, right? You can actually uh, include mathematical equations there as well, right? Um, so all of this is done using, it's a web application essentially, which is why, by the way, this uh, thing, when I run JupyterLab or Jupyter Notebook, you notice that I get to access it, uh, it's low. local host of this port, uh, uh, 8,888 there, right? So it's a web application um, that will allow you to combine all these different aspects. So you can include, uh, you know, live code, giving graphs, right? Visualizations, you know, so things uh, similar to, uh, if I can just scroll to where we have visualizations, you can have tables, uh, you can have graphs, right? And I've become lazy these days myself because what I do, what, or what we do when we are coming up with publications such as this, right? In the past, I would use, uh, when you're coming up with publications like this, in the past, I would use uh, tools like R, for instance, to come up with uh, font consistent graphs, right? But now, you know, I'll use my, my, my notebook. I'll have a notebook. So if we are publishing work, there'll be a dedicated notebook, right? Because of the nature of work we do, there'll probably be a bit of data analysis you know, uh, some basic code, you know. Um, and so we generate visualizations. These are appearing in a notebook, but somewhere, right, in here, you have uh, a bit of code, live code that allows you to generate a tech, tech source code, right? So this uh, PGF here. This is uh, something you can easily integrate in LaTeX, right? So. In case people are wondering here, I'll probably go here and say, uh, what, what if I, uh, uh, if I, uh, I think it's plots it is, right? So you have actual LaTeX code that you generate, right? So, so I'm not generating it a, a PNG, right? Uh, because I would want, I mean, because I want the font type and, and everything else to be consistent with the text itself in the publication, but that's fine. Uh, the key takeaway point here is you have different things, right? Uh, textual content, like this introduction and general notebook configuration, this is text. Live code, right? You can notice here, well, you probably won't notice here, but you have an input statement there, right? Um, and, and you get to change or you switch between, you know, different types of, uh, of, uh, of aspects that you want to include. So is it textual content, use Markdown? Is it live code, right? Are you trying to do something sneaky, right? Where you use raw um, output, which is what I'm doing here. But